Hey, what's happening guys? We're gonna do things a little bit out of order today because uh, this board has uh, got some problems. I made the mistake here and I was just gonna scrap this and redo the board, but then I got to talking to Barry down in Florida. Old B Blood told me, cut the traces, fix the mistakes, show people your mistakes. Yeah, I usually do. Just uh, sometimes I feel like I make too many. Like I'm forgetting a lot of stuff these days and uh, I feel bad about it. But So we're going to fix this. This is another one of my STEM boards for the STEM class at the high school. Junior, senior, high school, I guess you'd call it. And this is simply to allow the kids to look at some LEDs connected in parallel and some LEDs connected in serial and then hook up a uh, multimeter and be able to read the current that's going through them so they can understand what's going on. Pretty simple circuit, right? You can already see one mistake I made, but that's okay. I, I just didn't put another test point to grab here. But here's where I made the mistake. It's in the routing. Let's zoom in here. So let me get a pointer. All right, so here's our switch. Power's coming in here. Goes to the, or power comes in over here, rather. So we can follow that trace. Yeah, power comes in over here. And is brought there to the switch. Switch chooses either the parallel or serial side. And it comes up to here, which is the anode of those LEDs. It should come up to here. So to make this work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this trace here, bring it up here, and then cut this trace here. And that will make this work for today. And then we're going to have to correct the, uh, the schematic and respin this for uh, version 2 of the board. All right, let's get started. Yep, I know this was... Uh, Poor, poor design work on my part. And chalk it up to a lot of things. Um, haste. And trying to get the job done. Sloppiness. You know, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. I accept. I did it. It was my bad. So, we're going to have to fix my mistake, and like I said, and respin the boards. PCB Way, on the other hand, did a fantastic job on these boards. And this video is sponsored by PCB Way. If you need PCBs made, I suggest you give them a try. Once I see the uh, the fiberglass, I know I've gotten in there enough, so I'll finish cutting these. And you guys can take a look at a little bit about PCB Way. Look at this up here. PCB Way's eighth anniversary promotion. That's right, PCB Way has been producing high quality printed circuit boards for eight years and now they've got even more. Machining, 3D printing, anything that you can need in the electronics engineering, they can get it done for you at a very, very good price. Here's some coupons. It's orders of $30 or more, you get $5 off. Here's anniversary sale, PCB prototypes, up to 100 by 100 millimeter boards, five to 10,000 of them. Or five dollars per ten pieces. PCB assembly thirty bucks. Advanced PCB four hundred fourteen, and Rigid Flex is one hundred and twenty four dollars. They've also got a lucky draw going on right now, where you could win things like a Raspberry Pi or air quality sensors or an Arduino Mega. We've also got some stuff there with some of the people that they uh, 
promote. You might even find somebody you know in there. Anyway, PCBWay is fantastic. I highly recommend you check them out. Check out their 8th anniversary promotions. All right, let's make sure we don't have any connectivity between these points now. Good. 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 And then we want to make sure we don't have any connectivity between these points. Any of these. All right, good. So we've corrected that problem. The uh, series side of the board is going to be another problem entirely. I don't think I thought this through well enough. So now we're going to need to come from here up to here. So let's start by putting in our switch. Got one right here. So put our switch in place. A little bit of blue tack to hold it. And we'll solder it up. Designing circuit boards was never my thing professionally. It's just something I picked up later on. I drew plenty of schematics. And then what ended up happening is they would get checked by another engineer. Or two or three or however many guys decided to look at it. And then it went to the PCB guys. That was an entirely separate department. Okay, so we got that in. And now we need to make our correction there. One second, please. Okay, as you can see here, I just went ahead and soldered in the test points and the LEDs. So now we're going to need to put our little fixer piece in up there. One second. All right, I've tinned some of this 22 gauge wire. And I should be able to just put it right in here. Good. Now we'll cut it up here. Strip it. There we are. I think it's a little long, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Put that guy in there. All right, let's see if that'll, that'll do. Get it yet. All right, so. Nope, that bounced. Crap. Big old glob burning the crap out of my finger. All right, there we are. Okay, so bring in our meter again. And we'll make sure we got what we want here. So 
So we should have continuity between here whoop, and here and none between here and here. Good. All right, so now since these are supposed to be in parallel, I'm going to need to lay a, a wire across there. So let's get our uh, let's get our resistors in first. Three, four hundred seventy ohm resistors. That'll keep the current low and the LEDs not so bright that they end up. <laughs> blinding the students because just regular LEDs can get really bright especially the blue ones I don't know maybe this is a bad project altogether what do you guys think should I continue on this board because the more I'm looking at it I'm thinking now that eh, not quite sure the uh, do do what I want. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I had to quit my full time job because of the stress on my heart. But I'm still stressed out doing crap like this. Getting Blake ready for college. I guess life is just stressful, right? This will be the last of the uh, stem boards for this month, by the way. I think for the rest of the month, I'm just going to do something that I enjoy, which is Arduino. Okay, so far so good. What I want to do now is make our parallel connection up here. That little piece of cutoff resistor leg. <laughs> and my giant sausage fingers trying to put it all together, right? Okay, there we go. That's what I want. This should be fun, right? This is the true, the true joy of soldering and shade tree engineering. You built it. It doesn't do exactly what you want. So now, we must figure out why. And then correct it. All right, here we go again. So now we just want to make sure we have continuity all the way across the board here. From here to here. And here to here. Okay. Show. Yeah. Well, Might as well put in our power connector. So you're probably wondering why I left those legs on there. Well, because my non-thinking self forgot to put a place to read the current. So remember, you got current has to be in series, so we got to get in there. All right, let me get this set up and we'll test it. 
All right, we've got nine volts coming in on the power supply. We got our meter set up for milliamps. I'm gonna clip this to the back side. And I totally missed, didn't I? Whiffed on that one, huh? And then we'll connect this to the front side. And when I click this over, the LED should light. And nothing happens. All right. I'm confused. Let's try this. Nothing. Oh. There we go. Why are two of them lit? Let me see. This is gonna this board is just gonna take a lot more. So I think this one is gonna go for a total and complete redesign. If you've got ideas of how I can do this, leave them down below or send me an email. I appreciate it. Keep your snarky comments to yourself because these days I'm liable to fire back. And that's not appropriate, but I'm just telling you. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to PCB Way, and congrats to them on their 8th anniversary. That's it. I'm out. Peace.